You can break limits of custom NPCs mod by saving NPC and editing his JSON file in Notepad. Now I can increase size over limits of this mod. It works and his arrows are unbelievable big. As you see I can't set bigger size than 10 without editing clone file. There is more statistics that can be successfully changed with this method. But this trick doesn't work in every situation. If you set minor speed and accelerate, range attack will look like this. It grants new way to make range enemies. You can make realistic flamethrower in custom NPCs mod. Set explodes, none and effect, fire. Big NPCs don't fall into small holes. The bigger size NPC has, the longer attack range he gets. You can put soul stones in dispensers. There is a bit bug method to stack soul stones with too many items mod. NPCs can be put in minecarts. After refreshing world it still works. By changing size and scale of NPC you can change size of item that he holds. With this ultra small item and particles you can make the new kind of missiles. Let's try other kind of particles. Sixty four aggro range of NPCs is a lie. To get true 64 range you must change value in config file. But remember that big aggro range decrease performance.
In custom NPCs mod you can make true kamikaze enemies. Make sure he will kill himself with explosion. You can link NPCs. It is useful when you have to make big number of the same NPCs and you have to edit their stats. NPCs can shot when hidden behind one and a half block high object. Sometimes you have to change their stats to make it possible. Custom NPCs mod has his own add-ons. For example I can load Flan's vehicles as a models of NPCs. Invisible NPCs are good to simulate marching armies. You can put blocks in NPC's helmet slot. Leap at target option is cool option to improve behavior of some NPCs. Now my spider imitation acts more like true spider. Puppet option is something that you can't ignore. It is useful in many situations. For example you can make NPC who is blocking with shield. Also with Puppet you can make NPCs imitating statues and corpses. If NPC is slightly higher than player, he won't fit in two block high doors. Auto pickup can save drop from death in lava. Unfortunately auto pickup doesn't work when player has full inventory. Custom NPCs block is very useful in map making. It allows you to make dynamic scenarios without scripts. This block activate redstone signal when player is enough close, you can also edit its parameters. Changing horses textures isn't as simple as for regular NPCs. There is no textures to choose. You can change this part of the text to change its texture. If NPCs are in different factions that aren't hostile to each other, they will fight if one of NPCs hit second one with missile. Mounter is a tool that allows you make cavalry, but it has more uses.
column of NPCs can be broken. Unfortunately ranged NPCs don't work correctly when they are stacked. Only NPC on the top of the tower can shoot. Custom NPCs mod can be used to make traps, not only enemies. Trap NPC must shoot bait NPCs that must be immune for his range attacks. I have forgotten to change some statistics. There is far more ways to make traps. Advanced traps will improve quality of your dungeons. Custom NPCs mod adds new commands. Faster NPCs are more likely to fall down. Use range attacks, on the move is cool option to add more fighting abilities to the NPCs. Range attacks can also imitate special melee attacks. NPC that sometimes shoots is harder to be exploited by player. NPCs can spawn other NPCs. You can make spawner NPC that spawns other spawner NPCs that spawn far more NPCs, but it is a little bugged. These minions should disappear. Custom skins are very important for map making. They improve quality and make better immersion than regular skins that are available in custom NPCs mod. To add them open percent app data percent folder and go this way. If you don't have folder entity you have to make it by yourself. Finally you can make subfolders with different categories of skins. You shouldn't be limited to making custom skins for regular NPC model. You can make great results making skins for other entities. Sprint option doesn't work correctly. When making maps you must always remember about performance. 
Hordes of NPCs and enabled shaders destroy your FPS. Weak PCs can't handle advanced map with hundreds of NPCs. If you make very big map with 1000 or more NPCs, it will make some problems. Like immortal lagging NPCs. NPC can aim even if he doesn't shoot. If it is possible you should change sounds of NPCs to make better immersion. These two options are very important. Although they are initially disabled. You must change this setting to make NPC attack hostile factions. If NPC has small aggro range player with bow can easily exploit it for cheating, so remember about it when you are working on the map. Make sure boss can't see player before he enters his arena. Rotation options are important too. They allow you to make more realistic NPCs. Terrain slows down NPCs. When they are faster they are still slowed. NPCs won't jump from high places if it kill them. AI of NPCs isn't the best for sieges. For example NPCs can't shoot from the walls when enemy is to close. You can make swimming and underwater enemies. Underwater enemies should have bigger knockback resistance and speed. So they won't be killed easily. Lines are cool alternative for dialogues. Also it allows you to make hostile NPCs that talk to the player when they attack him. Must see target option and aggro range are ultra important. If you make it incorrectly, NPCs will attack player before he enter room. In some situations if you want to change the skin, you can save the time changing this part of text.
If you remember skin's name it is better to use this method rather than scrolling folder with many skins. Items hardly ever affect stats of NPCs, but there are a few exceptions. 